What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today we are doing a review of Blue Raspberry E-Juice put out by Vista Vapor. Again, that's Blue Raspberry E-Juice put out by Vista Vapor. This has Max VG and my particular nicotine usage for this is 9 milligram of nicotine by volume. Uh, I love it. I love these fruity flavors. And by the way, I love Vista Vapor. Um, the thing that I, I love that about them the most is they're not the cheapest. They're competitive. They're not the cheapest. Their customer service is like on point. I promise you, if you have an issue or whatever, contact them. They're on the ball all the time, every time. And they'll work around with you. I love them for that. This is one of the top five handful of companies that I buy product from. That you can see all my magnets back here, and that's not all of them from from Vista Vapor. So yeah, I'm a repeat person. You'll love their emails too because you'll get emails after you order talking about steeping or thank yous. Those are generally from uh, um, Lance and Alex. And uh, you'll see them just having a ball and thanking you in their videos that you'll get. So I love them. Uh, and again, Blue Raspberry by Vista Vapor. Now, you can get other mixes of PG, VG if you want more PG and all that stuff. PG just happens to give me a little bit more of the, the, the food allergy. If I have a little too much of it, it starts to act up. Um, I smoked for over 20 years. I've been off tobacco for over five and a half years. And uh, so I started out at the highest level of nicotine and I did step down and I don't need to have nicotine. I use it a little bit for my, my uh, controlling my appetite. So nine is about the highest I go anymore. Uh, I generally will go three to six uh, and sometimes nine because depending on the juice that you're getting, you may want to have just a little more nicotine in there uh, to offset other things or other variables going on in there. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing rocking and rolling. Uh, I'm going to be using the Cuboid Mini for this one. All right, it's got a top side fill. And uh, I went ahead and already primed the coil just so that we could uh, get through this a little bit quicker. That way I had it working by the time we went to fill. What I mean by working is it's damp. Uh, we'll take a few suctions to draw it through the coil or through the wick and uh, we should be good to go. That helps us from not having those nasty dry fire hits that burn in your mouth making you change your wick and coil and yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. I had a little bit spill right there on my finger, so I'm not <laughs> I'm sniffing my finger. Okay, that that's pretty right on too. That taste that smells very very good. Goodness gracious! A uh, little tidbit: if you this video is not about the Cuboid Mini, but if you have one. You can get a napkin here. Um, once in a while, when you first load the tank, you'll have a little bit of that drippage and stuff like that at first, where it starts gurgling and all that. Uh, what you want to do is get into that drip tip there and uh, just make sure you use a Q-tip or something. Um, all right, make sure that your air holes are open. Clean everything around there. I am a stickler for that kind of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use a Q-tip to just kind of go in there and clean out the stuffage. Now we're going to take a few draws through here. We're not going to hit the we're not going to hit the fire button. I just want to draw it through first. Here we go. We're going to try it. Yep, there it went. Okay, so get that down in there. I'm going to go ahead and lower the wattage real quick. All 
All right, now we'll raise it back up. That helps to evaporate any liquid that might be in there. Let's get that down to about 75. Wow, but what did come in my mouth was just, that is awesome. Sorry for smacking my lips, but that was awesome. That taste is awesome. See what I mean? Just a little extra care and concern, a few extra step, steps, and then you're good to go. Wow. Okay, so, um, you know what? I said this about one of their other e-juices. I'll say it here. It's got a ton of flavor coming at you. What I like about it, though, is it's sweet, but it's restrained. It's not over the top. It's not having negative kind of sucralose aftertaste, even though I'm sure that that's what the sweetener is in there. Um, it's very restrained. One of the telltale marks when you use too much of any of the um, other than sugar sweeteners is that sometimes it'll be overused and uh, you'll it, it will kind of toss the flavor of everything else out the door. This one here is very restrained, but takes you right up to that edge, uh, and and. The fruit is phenomenal on this, man. Wow. I'm letting you come back to my throat right about here, and you'll hear me say this in almost every video I've ever done. I want to taste, I want to see if it changes consistency, taste, uh, or if it remains the same going down and, and it's not turning... To something else and this is doing a very very wonderful job let's go ahead and get one more in there rolled around goodness gracious and I love raspberry too um, this is this is awesome this is really awesome I really like it uh, I tend to love just the basic fruit juices and drinks like cola, root beer, that kind of stuff. And the fruits, not fruit candies, but the fruits, I tend to be old school. I love pure fruit flavor. Uh, this is pure fruit flavor. And again, this is Blue Raspberry by Vista Vapor. My particular choice was Max VG and a 9 milligram nicotine by volume. However, you can custom that to your particular needs. No two vapors are alike, so it can be adjusted. Don't let my particular needs throw you off from purchasing this. I guarantee that you'll like it. I promise you, you'll like it. You're going to like it. <laughs> Having said all that, let's take it home, because I know y'all got stuff to do. But thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe um, and share it. I, I will thank you immensely. And uh, hey... Later.